Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Google is in deep, deep trouble. Since ChatGPT was released, people have been trying out a lot of things that ChatGPT could do. And one of the things that ChatGPT could do very well is programming. You have a programming related question, you ask it, the answer is absolutely amazing. To put it to ultimate test, what I've done is, I went to Stack Overflow and um, I found a question regarding rejects. Uh, rejects, regex, regular expression, whatever you would like to call. So this question is a regular expression question to extract text in Python. Even though this has been called duplicate, somebody has already answered it. And the person who is asking question is uh, asking a very naive question. So they don't know how to use re-library and they want to know how to extract the text between this. And they have got the sample input, sample output. So now I'm going to put this question into chat GPT and then see if chat GPT can help us. So let me copy this question until this because everything else looks irrelevant. I'm going to go back to chat GPT, paste this question, but while I'm pasting the question, I'm going to call it, I'm new using the re-library in Python. And that's it. I'm going to type it and then I'm going to wait for it to give me some answer. So it has given me some answer and um, I want to see if it will work fine. So how do I check if it will work fine? All I have to do is copy the code, go back to my code editor, in this case, VS code, and then paste it. Okay, run this using something. Let's run, you got, I am a test paragraph. Okay, it works fine. So let's say something, one little coder is amazing. And let's run this. And then we got one little coder amazing. So we literally, in a couple of minutes, or even less than a minute, we have managed to solve the most recently asked Stack Overflow question regarding regular expression. So now let's ask something more, something more com something more complicated. I'm going to go to um, chat GPT, and then I'm going to research the thread, and I'm going to ask a simple question. Help me write a Python code which can generate AI, um, which can generate a good summary using hugging face transformers. So I've asked for a Python code that can generate a good summary. So in this case, what I mean is NLP summarization, but let's see if it can identify it. And I'm saying, um, give me the, give me the result. So now we have again got a code looks like, and it also explains it to generate a summary text. You have got all the information, copy it, go back to my code editor. And now I'm going to paste it. I don't know if I've got transformers installed. Let's see my luck. Okay. looks like I've got transformers installed. Cool. So um, I think maybe it's going to download the model, but looks like the code is working fine without any syntactic error. Could be semantic error, but the code at this point is trying to get executed because I don't have a model. Um, the model might be getting downloaded, but so far the code is working fine. So you can see, oh, fine. They're downloading the model, which will take a couple of minutes. So while this code is getting downloaded, so let us go and then copy this text and then paste it here. I'm going to say, um, there is something wrong with this code. Can you help me fix it? And I'm going to paste this code and while pasting this code, I'm going to just remove one M and I'm going to send the code and then see if it can actually detect. Okay. Amazing. There is a typo in the name of summarizer variable and then it has fixed it. This is absolutely insane. And I don't know, like, why would I go use Google now? For example, one of the reason I might use Google still is I might go ask, let's see what is the progress here. Yo. I might go ask Google, um, let's clear, let's uh, reset the thread. So I'm going to ask, um, I want to design a simple landing page on um, land HTML landing page, landing page with inline CSS that can be hosted on GitHub pages, simple landing page for a YouTube channel. And then we have given the question 
and it is trying to create uh, to create a simple landing page this is what you have to do uh, looks like it's actually giving me advice so maybe i think um like after it gives an advice let's see if it is going to actually give us the final code if it doesn't give the final oh we have we have got the final code once you have you can host it okay this this looks um, can you give me the complete code for it let's see if it can give the complete code for it um it's it's processing as you can see it's generating the code and um, my youtube channel okay thanks for visiting the channel <laughs> very interesting uh, it's adding some video video id cool maybe i can add one of my video ids that's fine okay so now we have a complete it also gives me entire detail so go back go back to my github one of the repos that i have got edit and then paste it um i need to add some video id so i'm going to go go to youtube okay this is one of my videos that's good so i can get the video id here come back add the video id and then say update commit i have uh, i must have triggered a github action okay i have triggered a github action let's see what happens once this github action finishes meanwhile let's go back to our github uh, jupiter notebook and then it says replace this text with text you want to summarize and this works absolutely fine not without any single error this code has worked absolutely fine so nlp you have got nlp here we just created an html page we tried regular expression maybe we can try one more regular expression so let's let's pick some other question where we have got both python and a regular expression in python okay anything that starts with this and ends with this for example if you say this such strings to be replaced by tbd okay what is happening here so here it looks like anything that starts with this and ends with this for example if you have this or this such string should be replaced by tbd i don't know if it will work or even in fact like for that matter i couldn't completely understand the question so let's move on if i cannot understand the question i cannot probably ask um gpt or open uh, chat gpt let me ask another question where i have python and regular expression rejects so that even if there is an answer i know okay fine so there is a there is an interesting question there, there is a code that somebody has accepted um okay this i want to find all the telegram links without quotation marks but i don't want the leading negative look behind this code works but i want my steps okay let's copy paste it and let's go back again and then say examples this should say true this should not say true paste it and then give it okay it, the server had an error looks like uh, yeah it looks like you know maybe it might have thought that we are doing sql injection so it's not working that is fine um this looks like an easy one um okay i need to extract string example but i need field value please help copy it go back paste it send it too many requests trying to slow down okay this is new maybe because us is awake and a lot of people have been trying let's reset the thread paste it again S send it so we're at a request look i don't know if i if i have got my account banned by doing this it looks like this at this point is not working but that's okay i can understand so let's go back and then see the deployment that we have done then click the link and it says welcome to my youtube channel thanks for visiting my youtube channel here you will find a variety of interesting and informative videos on a wide range of topic and then the latest video link is here this is absolutely brilliant because we just asked the question about having a landing page right now it doesn't have any styles so we can next time when we ask the question so um, i i i don't know if it will work let's say 
let's start with something simple and then see if it works okay, explain quantum in simple terms it works so now we can say um, design a beautiful landing page design a colorful landing page. design a colorful HTML landing page for my YouTube channel please make sure I can host it host it on static sites like github pages okay it's going to again create something for me there is there is a new link now you can see that there are background colors there are containers um, little more sophisticated css and it is still still creating so let's wait for it to create so it's still doing the css part and um, I mean, I, I like this animation in itself. It gives me a feeling that, you know, somebody is actually helping me with this. Okay. The image source is something that I need to update the image and uh, good. So we have got a link, go back, copy, come back here to the code that I've got. Click the index.html, come back here, paste it. While I'm doing it, I need to add the image banner image computer programmer get image link okay copy image address go back here paste the link and then my channel id c slash one little coder new page save it commit it it's going to render it and we are going to see if it is going to show some error but that will be another interesting thing because this time it looks slightly more sophisticated. You have got some CSS component as well. And, um, and this, like when we were trying some rejects, it started showing some error, detecting a repeating sequence with rejects. Okay. People don't have answers to this, but maybe we can try. I have a text example, go back here, paste this. Any idea how to, okay, there is an answer. Um, here's what is happening. This matches a sequence of characters that starts with zeros followed by this, this. Okay. So if this is the text and we can do, this will match the sequence. You can use these match sequence as you needed in your code. Oh, this is amazing. So what is the question? I didn't read the question. I have a text example. This is my text example. I want to detect those consecutive with zeros. Okay. So the expected output should be this. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely mind blowing. I'm going to paste this and run this. It actually worked. We go to the co question. It still doesn't have an accepted answer. Okay. So we like, we need to split this. Maybe that's, that's, I think that's not a big deal, but we have an answer. This is simply mind blowing. I know this has been built on top of instant GPT. You have got codex, open a codex, but having a chat bot like this is quite mind blowing. Okay. Page is built. Now go back here. Click the link. Is, is this the one that we were doing? Oh, this, this is a new, okay. We have lorem ipsum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, banner image. Click the link, land on my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos like this from chat GPT, stable diffusion, anything that is generative AI. I hope this video was fun watching how chat GPT can make Google go obsolete. Um, I'm, I'm super mesmerized and impressed by what is happening here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in the next video.